let's talk a little bit about muscle structure. Your muscles are structured in a real interesting way. And if you're following along in the lab book, I will relate this back to sort of the Twizzlers and Saran Wrap method of playing with muscles as well, or if you just want to try this out. But muscles are layered in that there are smaller pieces inside bigger pieces inside bigger pieces that eventually make up the muscle. We're going to examine those pieces. So here's the big muscle and it breaks down into these smaller pieces and into these smaller pieces. And this is actually where we're going to begin, which is at the level of muscle fiber or muscle cells, so a single cell of the muscle. A single cell of the muscle is called a muscle fiber. It is very, very long. It is very large. It typically has many nuclei in it, as well as many mitochondria, and these long tubes of proteins called myofibrils. A muscle cell is also called a muscle fiber, which is sometimes why things are confusing, because we call the little strips of protein inside the myofibrils fibers and also the muscle cell a muscle fiber. In the Twizzler, what you'd be looking at in a pull and peel Twizzler is one whole pull and peel Twizzler acts like a muscle cell or muscle fiber. And each of the little pull and peel parts are the myofibrils. They're all the same, but they're all stuck together to create one piece. Let's dive briefly inside of the myofibril. Now you don't need this much detail right this moment, but to see what's inside the myofibril, there are all of these purple and green lines in here, and they're all proteins that pull against each other. The ones you might recognize are the actin, or the thin filament, represented by the green line, the myosin, or the thick filament, represented by the purple one. We'll do another video where we actually get into muscle contraction and how these work together. But for now, it's good to know that the actin and the myosin are inside of the myofibrils, which are inside of the muscle cell. All right, so if you have your single pull and peel Twizzler, that's your muscle cell, the next thing I would ask you to do is to put them together in a bunch and wrap them up with a little bit of saran wrap. And what you get for doing that is a muscle bundle or a muscle fascicle. So if this here is your single muscle fiber or muscle cell, you can tell because here's its nuclei. Inside are the myofibrils, and the myofibrils are all bundled together with connective tissue. The connective tissue that holds them together is called the fascia. And so when you wrap a bunch of muscle cells together in fascia, you get the muscle fascicle. So now this is a number of muscle cells, but it's still not big enough to be an entire muscle. It's just one small piece of a muscle. To get to the whole muscle, you actually have to take a bunch of those fascicles or bundles and stick them together. So you would wrap up three or four Twizzlers in Saran Wrap, and then you would do another set of three or four Twizzlers in Saran Wrap, and another set of three or four Twizzlers, and each of those is one of these fascicles. Once you combine all of those together in even more saran wrap, now you have a whole skeletal muscle. Now we also have to consider how the skeletal muscle is going to attach to the bones, because muscles are no good without bones to pull on. The very ends where everything is held together is also connective tissue, but this is a different type of connective tissue. It is a longer one. It is tighter strands. It is made of mostly collagen and it connects to the bone. If it connects to the bone, we call it a tendon. So you can see in this picture of a knee, which again has a lot of information you might not need right now, the muscles of the quadricep, of which there are typically four, because it's a quadricep, connect via tendons to the different bones. So this part of this muscle connects via the tendon to the patella, and these parts of the muscle connect to the tibia or the shin bone. Similar connective tissue, it's almost the same stuff as a tendon in fact, is used to help connect the bones to each other. So between the patella and the tibia, there's also connective tissue and that would be called a ligament. So if it connects bone to bone, it's a ligament. If it connects muscle to bone, it's a tendon. 
So that's how you can see that from the very large muscle, it's broken down into muscle bundles. Each muscle bundle contains a bunch of muscle cells all wrapped together in fascia. And each muscle cell contains a series of myofibrils, those tiny parts inside the pull and peel swizzlers that hold the proteins that make the muscle work. And this is how all of your muscles are essentially structured.